In this video, create new non-loop animations. Understand when a non-loop animation is ended. and use it to create animation dice for player 2. Prepare a 3D character that can walk, run, and jump. You can do all of this with visual scripting only. You can watch again series Make 3D Shooting Game, you know how to do it. Next, let's enter website misamo.com to get more animations. Search for animation attack. There are a lot of animations here. I will select this one attack for my character. Click Download. If you don't know how to create 3D character and use these animations, watch this tutorial with link under this video. Let's create one more animation for this tutorial. Select one dying animation and download. Select FBX for Unity. With Dow Skin, then click Download. Get back to your game and import new animations. Select Animation Attack. Menu Rig, Duet Rig, and Avatar. Use the current avatar of current character. Next, go to menu animation. Rename it to attack. If you press play, you can see how it works. Exactly same in Misamo. But it is shaken because its origin pivot not a fit of character. So we go going to fix its origin by first now. Set root rotation at original. Y position at fit. Position X Z at original two. Turn on bake into post for all of them. Then click apply. Now the animation is no more shaking. New animation attack was created. Put it into player animator. Open player controller script from your player object. Let's add a new object variable. Name it is playing non loop animation. With value true or false. Next, if there is any non-loop animation playing, we need to stop all other animations and movements. This inputs for player working movement. Player can work only if no non-loop animation is playing. Add this variable to all other inputs. For jump and run input to. Player can do jump or run only if no non-loop animations play in. Next, add a button to do a non-loop animation attack. Use get key down for one click button. Anytime button F is pressed to attack. Check if 
No non-loop animation is currently playing. If no non-loop animation playing, set variable is playing non-loop animation is true before attack. Next, add animation attack. Use animator play to play an animation. Input this will be the object that has component animator. It will be our character model. Make sure your character model object has component animator and tag model. Play animation attack. Attack is name of new animation we just added. Press play to test it now. If you press button F, player will do animation attack. But it needs to go back animation idle after attack finished. When animation attack is finished, we need to turn off this variable to false. Use on fix update to check if it is playing another animation to tell that our non-loop animation was ended. First, let's get the current name of playing animation. Input this is the object that has component animator. It has node get length of animation. It's the time of origin animation. If you change the speed of animation, it will be not correct anymore. So we will use another way. Check the current name is not our non-loop animation name. But we need to know what animation it will play after attack. I will call it attack n, the animation after attack. Now let's create animation attack n. After attack, it will back to idle animation. So I will duplicate idle and rename it attack n. Next, make transition from animation attack to attack n. After attack is finished, it will play animation attack n. Adjust this timeline to tell when the transition go to new animation. It has been shortened. And you can change the speed if you want it faster. If attack end is playing, so animation attack was ended. Then we need to turn variable is playing non-loop animation to false. Press play to see our final result. After player attacks, attack animation was ended and turned off. Player is back to idle animation and can work now. You understand how to know when a non-loop animation ended. 
we have some obstacles here. If player touch it, player will die. Let's add box collider to it. And I will turn on each trigger for them. Then add this box collider to all other obstacles. Next, add tag trap for all of them too. Back to our script. If player touch any objects with tag trap, player will die. Use on trigger enter for collision check. This script is inside player object, so input this will be our player. Check if player touch any objects with tag trap. If it's true, player will die. Turn variable is playing non loop animation is true before animation died. Next, play animation died. Let's create animation died. Select animation we downloaded from Misamo and add avatar for it. Rename animation to Dine. It's a non loop animation. Then set its origin pivot at fit. The animation works ok now without shaking issues. But I will adjust the timeline to shorten it a little bit. It will play died immediately with this adjustment. Next, let's add another animation to play after animation died. Duplicate died animation and rename it died end. Adjust the timeline for each animation at ending of animation died. You can copy the frame number of died animation and use it for our new animation. I will set this one as a loop animation and set its origin pivot at fit of character to Now you have animation die and die end already. Add them to player animator and make transition for them too. Animation die end will be played right after animation died. We made event to play animation died already. Next, we need to check if died end is playing to tell that animation died is ended so we can restart the game right after. Let's check if current name of playing animation is died end.
If it is true, let's restart the game. We have finished all the script for this tutorial. You can download it with link under video. Let's play to see our final result. Player can attack and know when the attack is ended. If touch an obstacle, player will die and game is restarted right after die animation is ended. Now you understand how to know when a non-loop animation is ended. You will use this a lot in your game. Comment below any tutorial you want me to make in next video. Thank you for watching.